Rosemary Pomegranate Kombucha. Mmm, this one turned out really good. The rosemary was really strong, accented with the flavor of the pomegranate. I will do a video in the future about just using herbs, but let's talk about this one for now. So I like to remove those little white pieces that come off from the inside of the fruit, just because they can be a little bit bitter. I decided to crush the pomegranates up this time. The last time I just threw them in whole. I'm using about a tablespoon of the crushed pomegranates, including the juice and a sprig of rosemary. I rinse that off first and then I'm taking it off of the stem. Nothing fancy, not too hard. Here's my scoby getting bigger. I like to store my scobies in these plastic containers just while I'm emptying the jar Then I clean it and I make a new batch. I don't store it in there for long. Don't forget to stir it. Stirring the kombucha like that distributes the yeast more evenly, which will contribute to your carbonation. And that's what has all the B vitamins, so don't skip that part. Look at how beautiful that is. I just love the colors. Nice and bubbly. This one sat for probably a week. I don't know, I kind of I lose count of the days just because there's always so much going on. But I love opening it and seeing what happens. Like <laughs> The pomegranates are just dancing all around right there. Woo, let's have a party. And here we have our garnish. I just used some pomegranate and rosemary. You could also put a little lemon on the side or some thinly sliced lemon in the glass. That would be really tasty as well, but I just kept it simple. This one was a lot of fun to film. Let me know in the comments if you give this one a try and how you feel, how do you feel about using stronger herbs like rosemary, oregano thyme. How do you feel about using those in your kombucha? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to pop that like button or if you found any value in it. Happy brewing, guys.